morning. Now, for some reason, we go absolutely mental about clementines this time of year, which has something to do with them being a symbol of generosity from Old Saint Nick, or they look like a gold coin, but it's too early in the morning to talk about that. Clementines are a Mandarin hybrid, and they surfaced in the early 1900s from Northern Africa. Clementines are their own specific species, but tangerines, originally meaning the fruit from Tangier, could be any small, round, easy to peel citrus, which confusingly includes clementines. Oh, that's better. Now, there's something to be said about us Brits and our collective disdain for any fruit with pips. If you speak with anyone from the Mediterranean, they'll tell you that a fruit without pips is just unnatural. Now go out to your local supermarché and find yourself some clementines. Generally speaking, they'll be seedless, and more often than not, they'll be called easy peelers, which is just another catch-all term for that style of citrus. I guess this is a case of the fruit changing to its target market quicker than the vocabulary used to describe that fruit can emerge from the market. Wild. Hey look, this one's got leaves on, that's how you know it's legit. Clementines are generally much sweeter and less sour than oranges. They have this wonderful aromatic peel which is generally discarded, although some fancy perfumeries tend to keep that in high regard. I think there's enough basis here to make some really cool cocktails. Just like every week, I break my drinks down into three sections. Super simple, where no special tools are required, mega tasty, where a simple infusion or syrup is needed, and ultra fancy, where maximum effort is required. But before we can make any drinks, gotta do some prep. Nah, we'll make a drink first. Now, there's only one way to start the day on the 25th. Uh, and it seems as though one had one too many sherries last night. A quick fix is needed to rend this headache asunder, none more so quick and fitting than a buck's fizz. So simple that even a shadow of a man can make it. Simply squeeze the juice from two clementines into a glass. Any glass will do. I just can't be trusted with anything with a stem right now. If you like more juice, squeeze more juice. But a quarter of the glass is about right. Top up with your sparkling wine of choice. I've opted for a Cremant, which is a French sparkling style that isn't made in the Champagne region. There's no need to overcomplicate this. It is a simple drink that's intended to be drunk whilst peeling potatoes or unwrapping presents. Simple, delicious, life-giving Bucks Fizz. Cheers. Okay, so before lunch, I'll need a little aperitivo to arouse the taste buds. Through making this, I can't actually believe how delicious this turned out. Definitely give this one a go. Clementine peels are packed with delicious juiciness that complements the bracing bitterness of Italian bitter liqueurs. Start by peeling six clementines and carefully slicing out the bitter white pith. Take as much of it off as possible so that the resulting infusion is bright and zesty rather than dull and astringent. This takes a little while, but it is worth it. A small, sharp paring knife helps tons. Chop the deepest peel into small slivers and then cover the whole lot with 200 ml of Campari or another bitter liqueur. Once combined, leave to infuse at room temperature for four hours or as long as you can manage. Once rested, pass through a coffee filter, bottle, label, and keep in the fridge for when you need it. Voila, Campari. This thing is great for a pre-dinner tipple and it won't knock you on your ass. Start by juicing 10 clementines, probably the ones that you peeled earlier. The best way I've found to do this is to use a small lemon juicer, like one of those kind of old school pointed ones. Because clementines are soft, they tend to get really messy when juiced. Pass the freshly squeezed juice through a fine mesh sieve and store the strained juice in a bottle and refrigerate for 30 minutes. Once that's nicely chilled, pour about 150 ml into a blender. This bit is optional, but it allows the juice to aerate and become lighter than it already is. Grab an iced highball glass and slowly pour in 30 ml of your Clem Pari. Then pour over around 150 ml of that blended clementine juice and gently stir to incorporate. Garnish with a blood orange wedge and sip slowly whilst trying to put in order what parts of dinner you'll tuck into first. The long road ahead. Cheers. <laughs> I'm not
not a huge fan of mulled wine, but what I hate the most is a big vat of wine bubbling away all day with the spices and such just becoming more and more bitter so that the last cup in the vat essentially tastes like alcoholic potpourri. To stop this from happening to you, make a mulled wine concentrate and dish it out fresh in every glass. Well worth the effort on this one, start by adding to a dry pan. One gram of caraway seeds, three grams of coriander seeds, three allspice berries crushed, five grams of cacao nibs, 15 grams or two quills of cassia. Toast all this on a medium high heat until fragrant, should be around two, three minutes. Then pour in 100 mils of a Bianco style vermouth. I'm using the wonderful Baldoria. This adds a nuanced herbaceous backbone. 150 grams of brown sugar, 200 mils of a cheap Bordeaux style red wine. You could use a Malbec or something, anything as big and powerful. Stir all this to combine and then add one bay leaf and one star anise. So we're gonna add in three citrus peels. The first one is Maya lemon. This is a cross between an orange and a lemon. It's fairly rare in the UK, but if you can get your hands on it, it's awesome. Add the entire peel of one Maya lemon, four whole clementine peels and any leaves that are attached. The leaves contain wonderful oils that will come across really subtly. And the entire peel of a Sudachi. Now it looks like a clementine, but it tastes more like a lime. It's very, very sour. This is what's known as a Japanese lime, and it has like a yuzu-ish taste to it. You don't see these things very often, but thanks to the guys at Natura, I could get my hands on them. Give everything a quick stir to combine, and then juice the clementines that you just peeled alongside the maya lemon as well. Add in about 150 mils of that citrus juice, and then cook on a medium heat until reduced by half. Turn off the heat and add 50 mils of Bekarovka. This is a cinnamon and baking spice liqueur from the Czech Republic. If you haven't tried it, it's basically the taste of Christmas. Sometimes when you cook citrus peels, they go quite bitter. So just taste it and then season to taste with salt. I only used one pinch. Give everything a good stir and then set aside to cool completely. Once cool, pass through a few fine mesh sieves or a muslin cloth. Bottle, label, and keep in the fridge for when the feeling takes you to pull out this killer mulled wine. I think I might have one now. Another thing I don't like about mulled wine is that it's a big batch. So if you wanna make it, you kind of have to share it around or drink loads of it. What happens if you're in the mood for mulled wine and there's no one to share it with? This stuff is ready when you are. Simply warm up some red wine on the stove or in the microwave. Pour 75 mils of the mulled concentrate that we made earlier into a mug or a fancy glass and then top up with the warmed through wine. Garnish with a blood orange wheel and enjoy before slumping into the sofa and contentedly falling asleep. The best thing about this is however big the batch is, it's super easy to make a fresh glass. Whoever you're with, whenever the feeling takes you, whatever you're celebrating this year. Cheers. There you go, team. I made some drinks from clementines, where they tangerines. Hope you enjoyed recipes employed. Like the video, comment down below. If you would like to see more, subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Have a merry, 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 merry Christmas. Have a fucking mighty, mighty, flighty, mighty Christmas. I love you. Take it easy. Be good. Goodbye. Goodbye.